Hello, friends and family. Kamusta po kayo dyan? How are you doing today? We hope that you are doing good. And uh, again, we're here to celebrate the goodness of God and also with, with our Monday devotion. And again, we're still on the topic ng pamilya, family. And mamaya po share po ni Pastor Jesse yung topic natin. And let us come to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you for this day, another day na binigay mo sa amin, Panginoon. And yes, we are forever grateful for what you have done. Salamat, Panginoon, at niligtas mo kami at nais mong iligtas ang buong miyembro ng pamilya. And so we continue to pray for them and we ask that you will continue to teach us and give us wisdom of how we can reach out to them. And sila din po ay maligtas sapagat ito yung kagustuhan mo. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. So we are right. still on the subject of families. Mm -hmm. Our devotion series is titled, How to Share, share my, my faith, faith with My Family and, and friends. friends. The title for today's uh, devotion is, Sharing Faith with Family Respectfully. Yeah. Sharing Faith with Family Respectfully. Mm -hmm. By the way, this is the final um, devotion of this series. By next Monday, we'll have a new series. Mm -hmm. So let's begin. Your family members and friends are the most important people to you. Mm -hmm. Because you care about them, you definitely care about their salvation. Such concern can make you very zealous in wanting to share the gospel with them. It is okay to be zealous in giving an explanation for your hope in Christ. The scripture encourages us to always be ready to give an account of our faith. We should be confident in what we believe in. We should not be afraid even if we suffer misunderstanding, ridicule, or persecution. We should always be zealous to share the gospel. Such zeal is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Yet the scriptures always say that we need to, first of all, honor Christ. Let that be preeminent in your conversations about your faith with family members and friends. While you should be an eager witness, you also need to be gentle and respectful. Mm -hmm. Dama, yes. When we share our faith with our family members and friends, we need to be reminded that the same kind of familiarity that they have with us, we have with them. Often because we know our family members very well, we can take their response to our witness personally. When this happens, the walls of respect can come down very quickly. We can respond to our family members in a way that we, sh we would not respond to anyone else. Mm -hmm. This, however, is not the goal. So, balikan natin to, no? Sige, we can respond to our family members in a way that we would not respond to anyone else. Sometimes, so family members... Mm -hmm. Hindi na natin iniisip na, na masasaktan sila, mm -hmm. ma-offense sila, kasi family members na. Because no. we expect them that, uh, you know, uh, we'll always be family, so kaya kahit ma-offend mo sila, parang okay lang. Oh, yeah. Uh, mas madalas na, mas considerate pa tayo sa ibang tao. <laughs> so it says here, we should, um, when this happens, the walls of respect can come down very quickly. Mm -hmm. We can respond to our family members in a way that we should not respond to anyone else. This, however, is not the goal. We do not want to become frustrated with our family members if they do not believe our witness about the Lord. Mm -hmm. We should not take offense in that. We should not be ex exasperated or harsh in our approach or language with our loved ones. Mm -hmm. We definitely do not want to be disrespectful. We can't lose our tact and unnecessary cross boundaries. We need to honor Christ in everything. Yes. You are called to be ready to witness about your faith at all times, especially to your loved ones. When you share your faith with your family members and friends, let your words be saturated with scripture, gentleness, and respect. Then trust God with the outcome. He will not disappoint you. Mm -hmm. Our scripture for today's devotion is Philippians chapter 4 and verse 5. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all you do. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. Mm -hmm. 
So I want to repeat two uh, sentences that is uh, found in this devotion. First is, while you should be an eager witness, you also need to be gentle and respectful. Yes. So eager time of witness, uh, family members were excited because gusto natin na maranasan din nila yung kaligtasan that we yeah, have. So. And sometimes not only excited, but sometimes we become forceful, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pinipilit natin, mga magulang, pinipilit yung mga anak, di ba? Mm-hmm. Na maging Christian or whatever, no? Uh, brothers and sisters. So it says, you need to be gentle and respectful. Yes. Another sentence I want to repeat is, we should not exasperate, we should not be exasperated or harsh in our approach or language with our loved ones. We def- definitely do not want to be disrespectful. I mean, so nga, hindi natin kiniconsider yung, yung tao. I mean, so you just, you just preach <laughs> better without considering their feelings, mm-hmm. without considering their state, uh, yung state nila at this moment, mm-hmm. you, without considering uh, the, the way they think. No, basta preach tayo ng preach minsan. Mm-hmm. Uh, out, of, out of eagerness, out of the desire na na maranasan din nila yung kaligtasan, we forget to be uh, considerate, we forget yeah. to be gentle, Mm-mm. and sometimes we forget to be res- uh, respectful. No? Sometimes with family and friends, we might even expect too much. Minsan, anak kita dapat ganitong gagawin mo. Uh, Parang ano, patas na to kailangan. Oh, <laughs> Sundin so mo sa sabihin too, ko. Too expected na <laughs> kailangan sumunod eh. Mm-mm. Pero in the same way that we offer a free gift to others, choice nila, ganun din dapat sa family members. Yes. So yung standard ng preaching or sharing with people we don't know, if we're gentle with them, if we're um, um, giving them a free choice, yes. ganun da- din dapat ang standard when we share with our family. Mm-hmm. Tama. So, mm-hmm. how do they feel, no? Consider their weaknesses, consider what offends them when sharing with family and friends. We need to be gentle and respectful. Yes, Amen. very gentle and respectful. Kasi madalas, pag nagsishare tayo ng gospel or about God, sometimes, ano, they look themselves na makasalanan sila and tayo, we are holy. Mm. So, ganun minsan ang pakiramdam nila. So, sometimes, na, na-open sila, ganun. Na ang dating natin, tayo lamang yung tama at uh, banal na tayo at sila ay makasalanan, kailangan nila ang Diyos. So, in that way, kailangan maiwasan po natin yung, yung ganong ano, scene or eksena. So, parang sinasabi mo na minsan tayo mga nagsishare mm. ang dating self-righteous. Oh, self-righteous. Diba? Na para bang kami lang, ano, ako lang yung may hawak ng katotohanan. So, kailangan natin maintindihan na sila ay hindi pa naliliwanagan. So, we have to be very gentle and careful and understand yung level nila. So, tayo, nabuksan yung ating isipan sa katotohanan, pero sila hindi pa. Mm-hmm. So, we need to reach out to them. Unawain natin sila. And paano natin sila aabutin ng, ng malumanay and that they will understand without yung feeling na, ano, na maliit sila o makasalanan oh, sila. O kinakondem sila. No? Nakokondem ka agad sila. I, in fact, meron akong kausap, uh, medyo recent. And... Um, Itong tao, sinabi niya sa akin na ganito yung belief niya mm. about a certain thing. Eh, sa akin, mali. Sa mm-hmm. akin talaga, uh, sasabi kong kasalanan. Mm-hmm. Pero this person, at, at this point in his life, like, yeah. wala pa siya doon. Mm-hmm. Sa kanya, hindi pa kasalanan yun. Hindi ko naman pwede ipilit sa kanya na agad-agad, agad-agad. Diba? Na, so, yeah. kailangan, you need to be gentle, you need mm-hmm. to be respectful of their... Yes of their ideas at the moment. Yes. Believe in what you believe. Mm-mm. Pero kasama dun nga, what we talked about before is yung praying for those that you, you share with. Na uh, kailangan si Lord ang talaga ang mag-open uh, ng kanilang understanding. Yes, diba? the eyes of understanding nila. Yeah, sa ibang tao, pakiramdam nila, tama na sila, di ba? Oo. But sa atin naman, alam natin na mali. Mm-hmm. So how can we bring the love of Christ, the, the, the salvation, now, without ano ka agad, dederechay mo silang mali ka eh, no? Mm. So, very challenging po sa atin yan. Kaya dun, dun pumapasok yung we need to respect them, mm-hmm. we need to reach out in their level. Kasi hindi po palagi na, ano eh, na lagi tayong, tayo na yung tama, di ba? Yes, we need to uh, share the gospel 
And be careful na hindi natin sila kaagad ma-open. Amen. And uh, pag na-realize na yun na inaabot natin sila and we're trying to be uh, understanding sa mga bagay nila, unti-unti, makikita rin naman nila yun eh. Mm-hmm. And of course, with the help of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Remember, we don't want them to decide na pinilit natin. Amen. We want them na mag-decide dahil nabuksan yung isipan nila. Amen. They realize and the Holy Spirit make them understand na, ay, ito nga pala, as we show them the Word of God, Amen. then napakasarap isipin na, hey, tama ka. I, I like that. Mm-hmm. So, paano bang gagawin? And then you continue to share the love of God and, and lead them to accept Jesus. Amen. So, napakaganda. Amen. With respect. Kasi minsan, andun yung attitude na we are, sabi nga yung cliche na holier than thou. Mm-hmm. Na pag yung mga Kristiyano, pag narinig lang born again, ay, uh, born again, sila lang ang pupunta sa langit. Eh. But we are all sinner saved by grace. Amen. So, sila rin, katulad natin dati makasalanan, but they need to understand na mahal sila ng Diyos and they need a Savior and that is Jesus Christ. Amen. There is hope. Amen. Okay? <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> katulad sinabi ni Pastor, now you can't force anyone to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. There's, no, there's not going to be anyone in heaven that was forced. <laughs> Everyone that goes to heaven will be, be there by choice mm-hmm. because they understood and they accepted Jesus Christ as yes. Lord. Diba? Hindi yes. by force. Diba? Kaya wag na natin pilitin mm-hmm. pag hindi pa sila ready pray natin sila as we always discuss be the light mm-hmm. be considerate share the gospel with gentleness yes. amen mm. naalala ko yung scriptures sa revelation sabi doon kumakatok si Jesus amen. imagine even si Jesus yes. hindi siya bilang papasok sa buhay ng tao mm. kumakatok siya meaning gusto niyang ano malaman na gusto mo ba akong pumasok amen. sa buhay mo amen. so dapat ganoon din tayo sa ating pamilya amen. so let's uh, let our light shine be respectful, share the love of God, be understanding, at maging ano tayo, maunawa sa ating kapwa. Amen. After all, yan naman ang plan ni Lord na lahat ay maligtas, makakilala sa Panginoon. Amen? Amen. So don't lose hope. Continue to pray for your family members. Kayong mga anak na may mga magulang na hindi pa kristyano or kayong mga magulang na yung mga anak nyo para bang wayward or na, na, nawala or Kailangan nila si Jesus. Let's continue to pray Amen. for our family. Samahan niyo po kami sa panalangin. Lord, again, we thank you for showing us the ways na we can reach out sa pamagitan ng pagmamahal mo ng iyong salita at abutin namin ang aming mahal sa buhay na merong pag-unawa at pag Lord God. Lord, we thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit that is working, wanting na sila ay makakilala sa iyo. And so we trust that you will open their eyes of understanding. And Lord, salamat po sa desire na binibigay mo sa amin to reach out to them. And we ask that you will continue to lead us and guide us every step of the way as we show the light na binigay mo sa amin. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Naghihintay po kami patuloy as we wait upon you patiently, Lord God, na abutin mo yung aming mga mahal sa buhay na hindi pa nakakilala sa'yo, Panginoon. We continue to trust in you. We continue to lift them up to you, Lord God. And one day, Lord God, may kita po namin ang pangako mo na ililigtas mo ang buong pamilya. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you we give you glory and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And God bless CRC. God bless the Philippines and God bless Olongapo. Again, God bless you. Have a great week because God is good all All the the time.